Also, when you're uncertain with risk, a CT scan for coronary calcium can be very helpful. If the score is zero in a non-high-risk patient, which means under 20% risk, doesn't have familial hypercholesterolemia, doesn't have advanced risk factors, then it can be helpful to predict their risk. Always incorporate coronary calcium if there's further questions. To be cost conscious and reduce optimally our patient's risk, we need to focus on three areas. A, that lifestyle, in order to reduce patients' cardiovascular risk in a cost conscious manner, healthcare professionals should be an advocate for aggressive implementation of a healthy lifestyle. This is one of the most effective but hardest things for patients to do. Diet has recently been shown to be the number one risk factor now for cardiovascular disease and death in the United States, and it's essential we help our patients with this. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.